Good afternoon, guys, and we're back here with another video for you. Today's video, we're gonna wash the Hellcat. You guys wanna see how I wash my vehicles? I'm gonna show you how easy it is to wash my vehicles, and I'm gonna explain to you pretty much why I wash them like this, why I try not to scrub it, uh, why I try not to even, you know, dry and put a towel on it. So let's start this Hellcat up, get her outside in this beautiful weather we're having today, and give her a little bath. But, you know, we got to do the cold start. Okay, so we got the Hellcat outside. Dang, it is windy out here. Sorry if you guys can hear that, but we got the Hellcat outside. Uh, I'm going to pull everything out and show you pretty much how easy it is to you know, wash my vehicles. One thing you guys have to remember about this, these connections do not come with it. I put the quick disconnects on here <clears throat> just because I don't want to have to sit there and screwing it every time. So you can add the quick disconnects as if I did here. Also on the pressure washer right here. So pretty much how this works is I just take, you know, the hose, that's, you know, the hard water, the the, the crappy water that's pretty much going to leave all the spots and it shows you guys on here in and out on the other side obviously this goes in the end part and this part here goes well yeah you guessed it on the out part and all that does is get quick disconnect right here and that's it and before I start pretty much how this system works is it's got a bunch of resin in here and now i'm not a professional at this so i i don't know you know how it exactly works but i know in these canisters there's a a bunch of resin in there and we're gonna go i'll, I'll take you guys to this guy's shop and have him explain to you guys everything and i mean it it really is an amazing system and i wouldn't be preaching it to you guys if it wasn't, um, if if this system did not work, like I said, guys, I'm not going to I'm not going to support something that doesn't work. Nor am I going to use it for my vehicles. You guys know me. I'm extremely, extremely anal about my cars. You know, I like them perfect, clean, garaged, washed. So if you guys hear me talking about a product, you know it's a good product. And I'll put my name behind this product because I've been using this product for about a year now for the Viper, the Hellcat, uh, or I haven't had the Hellcat for a year, but I've been using it for a year for all my vehicles and trailer, and I'm just amazed on how good it works. So this is your uh, TDS monitor. Now, okay, this is not right probably because there's no water on. You want this to stay at zero. When it's at zero, that pretty much means that this is working properly it, it is pretty much breaking up all of the hard water and doing its job. When this goes to, you know, one to two, you want to change the filters. That's letting you know that, hey, you know, these canister, you know, these uh, canisters and the resin that is in here is pretty much worn out <clears throat> and needs to be replaced. Now, it probably says three right now because there's no water running through it. So let me turn the water on and uh, we'll see what it says. So there you guys have it. Now the water is on and pumping through the system and it went back down to zero. That's what you wanted to say is zero. So the only thing I really spray on this car to prep it pretty much is the wheel cleaner to get rid of the brake dust and to get rid of all of the, the dirt and the grime that is on the wheel. So when I do wash it, I don't have to sit there and scrub it for an hour and clean the rims. Also, sometimes guys, you will see me using Windex. I only use Windex mainly for the windshield if it's full of bugs or if the front end just got like you know destroyed with bugs I will put Windex on it so I don't have to sit there and scrub the crap out of the bugs and why the Windex works is because it has ammonia in it and ammonia is pretty much it breaks up the blood so when you spray it on there and my Hellcat doesn't have any bugs on it or else I'd show you guys but if you guys do wash your vehicles out there and, and why I say I only use it for the front of the windows because the Windex will eat up the wax also on your vehicle. So when I do spray it in the front of the Hellcat or the truck, I put a coat of wax after. 
But if you guys are washing your cars and you've got bugs all over it, spray Windex on it, let it sit for a little bit, and the ammonia will break up the blood. It makes it way easier to pretty much get the bugs off instead of you sitting there and scrubbing at it. I just spray this rim down. I don't know if you guys can see this here, but it just, the brake just, the dust just falls right off. All right, let's get this bad boy going, shall we? Let's see, gas on. Oh yeah, you ready for a cold start? Here we go. Let you check out the exhaust, see if it can roll some coal. I'm not drying it. I'm gonna pull in the garage and I'm gonna just let it sit. I will take my Milwaukee blower and blow out these little crevices right here and here just to get all the water that's sitting uh, in the cracks pretty much out. Also, one thing I forgot to mention uh, for you guys is this is good for 300 gallons. Mind yourself, I was going to get a spot free water system that was 200 gallons mounted uh, pretty much in my garage right over here uh, I had the guy come in ready for and everything right here I was gonna get it's all gonna be spot free it was only good for 200 gallons and it would have costed me five thousand dollars for the entire system so pretty much what I would do is just hook the pressure washer up to the hose and it would make spot free water but you have to get this pump to make it and a 200 gallon tank so you have enough that you know was a really a good deal and not worth it so that's why I started looking up other systems and I found this this system I believe I've had this for a while but I believe it's about three four hundred dollars and I bought this system on Amazon um, as for all of my detail products my Adams products I buy a lot of my stuff on Amazon uh, just because I mean as you guys know if uh, you know you do buy stuff from Amazon they have a great return rate some they have same day shipping sometimes two day shipping uh it's it's their, their their product will get you extremely fast so for all these products right here all the atoms all this stuff you see even lucas i even buy lucas on there uh i buy a lot of stuff i, I will admit i am an amazon freak i buy i probably buy something off amazon almost every day so if you guys are interested in the cr spotless system uh, CR Spotless System. Go on Amazon. I will put the link down in the description below for the system. I will also put the link down in the description below uh, for the pressure washer. And I will put it down below for the Adams polishes. Everything, like I said, guys, click the link and all of my products will be there on Amazon. You don't have to get it on Amazon. That's just where I purchased it from. Uh, just because I trust Amazon and their return policy is great and you get it quickly. And I know some of you guys, you know, will say, and, and I'm not going to disagree with you, you know, that's expensive. CR Spotless System, uh, Adams products is pretty expensive. I agree with you guys. They're not cheap products. But at the same time, you know, I'm not cleaning, you know, my lawnmower. I'm cleaning a vehicle that I don't want any water spots on it. And I don't want to sit for an hour now and have to dry this thing. And you guys are probably wondering, well, Eddie, what if I don't have a garage? You know, it's sitting baking out in the sun. That's fine. It doesn't matter. The sun's actually going to dry it even faster for you. So if you don't have a garage, it's not a big deal. Just let it sit out there in the sun and it will dry. If you guys, you know, do wash your vehicles at home, I wouldn't go cheap on the product. Number one, it makes your life much, much easier to get the proper product. And number two, you know, you're, you're not going to, you know, damage the vehicle. And why I, I preach so much to you guys about the CR spotless system is because I try not to, you know, scrub the car. I try not to, uh, you know, wipe it down just because that's how you get those swirls. You know, those like, uh, looks like spider webs. And if you notice on my vehicles, none of my vehicles have swirls. When I first bought them, they did. That thing, when I picked it up from the dealer, that Hellcat, it had swirls all over it. And uh, we spent about two days in here doing a three-stage cut and buff on it, and it came out immaculate. And that's why I don't like to put towels or scrub it with anything because that's how you get those swirls. And I will sometimes hit it with a towel, 
But I will tell you guys, don't go cheap on towels either. The towels I get, I understand it's expensive, but they are from Adams. Here's the towels. It's a, the Kirkland ones are okay. They're not bad, but I use these for the rims. I do not use these for the vehicle. For the vehicle, I use these, well, not that one. I use these right here. They are, I mean, extremely, extremely soft. Uh, I got some more over here. And these are also really, really good right here. Uh, they're just a way, way softer than these Kirkland ones. These will not leave any streaks. Uh, they're not cheap towels, but you're not gonna have any problems with these. Well, the yellow towels are good for stuff like this. You don't wanna use, you know, your uh, nice towels because they're pretty pricey, but just I use it for stuff like this. You know, water, a little water gets on the supercharger here. Give her a little wipe down. If you're wondering why I have a bag right here, it's because the this is where the air filter is. The air filter is open and exposed, and well, obviously that vent goes right over it. Uh, yes, there is a cover. I just I don't put it on because I like the way it looks. Here's a screw for it, and it does cover it. Uh, I don't really drive this in the rain, so I don't have to worry about it. If you guys are wondering, well, what happens if it starts raining? I don't drive it in the rain, so I just put a bag over it when I wash it. And that's it. This is without drying. Of course, it's not fully dried yet, but without drying as you guys can see the window up top still water on there but we're just gonna let that sit now i'm going to use the uh milwaukee blower here just for like the rims and stuff because water gets built up in here just like that it's that easy okay i have not wiped it I have not done anything to it. Let's uh, take do a little uh, wipe test. Mm, okay, not bad. Still, still a little bit, but you know what? It's way better than it was before. It was just, I mean, you saw in the last video, black. So that makes it much, much easier. So I don't have to sit there and scrub the damn thing, you know, for an hour, each and every single part. Here we go. She, uh, she's not fully dried yet, as you guys see. There's still some water there, but pretty much check it out. I mean, have not put a towel, have not done anything to it, and nothing. There's no water spots at all. That's why the CR Spotless system is just so amazing. I know I'm a big uh, Milwaukee fan, but I've had this DeWalt forever. This thing uh, is pretty badass. I also got this on Amazon. It's uh, 110 if you want to uh, plug it in, or... Uh, battery operated so you just flip it that's it you can you have both that's why I like about it portable here's the battery right here your little uh, indication bar right right there so there you have it guys that is how I clean my vehicles my truck the Hellcat the Viper all of them the Razor everything spot free water is the way to go um, if you guys are interested in it, I put the links down in the description for you guys for the spot free system, uh, the Adams polishes, the Dewalt vacuum, and the Milwaukee blower. I purchased all that stuff on Amazon. So if you're interested, click the link below and it will take you right to it. So thank you guys for watching this video. And if you liked it, hit the like button. And don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Yeah.